Okay, hello. I'm trying to set my stream again, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I bet the sounds must be super high. So let's check this. When the game starts as well. Um, yeah, trying. Uh, red black white goblins today um, mainly because I want to play with rest in peace like we've been trying to figure out what to do with against the meta against Brennan six and Oko and Goif and Arcanist and Gurma Gangler blah blah so I'm like relics not good enough and Hogak so relics not good enough surgical is not good enough Dormant's not good enough, Nihus Bomb Bomb's not good enough. I'm gonna go with the best card there is, so rest in peace. Mm. Uh, other than that, White also offers Path to Exile, which I really want to try, because it's one mana kind of clean answer to Dark Depths of Mercy Lage, and also Reanimator and Show and Tell for Grizzle Brand does help. Uh, well, yeah, I just I just kind of want to try it instead of more Pyrokinesis. Still have one. Uh, also against Canadian, because no basics and just one mana answer to any of their threats, apart from Planeswalkers, quite good. So yeah, we were discussing. Some other card like Celestial Purge, but if I have Rest in Peace, I don't think we need Celestial Purge. Yeah, and just the one wear and tear. Because why not? Let's try to enchantment. Uh yeah. Mana base is quite different from all the other versions. Running six fetches and I decided to do a free free split. These because I also decided to run Lots of basics, so I got three mountains, I got one swamp, and I got one plains. Because I do have quite some black, and I could have, and if I, if my plan is to bring these cards against Canadian, I do want to have a basic plan to be able to cast them cons consistently. And two duels each. A uh, couple of Corexas, because they're really good in the meta. And that left me room for free wastelands because I want to play 24 lands either way. Still gives me 16 red mana sources, which is plenty. And 11 black, uh, 11 white to cast my color uh, sources because they're not goblins. And then two more, so 13 black for the goblins, which is quite good. And then round up the sideboard with a few cards I like. Don't know exactly what's correct or not, but we'll see. So let's play a league for this. With this thing, not during my practice, let's play a league. Rip. My one trophy over there. Okay. Uh, spit soft to storm, cause I do have the great grave hate, but I just have two relics for actual combo. And probably a bit soft to reanimator, because the rest in peace is not for reanimator. It's for uh, fair strategies. It costs two mana, not zero, which is much more than zero. So yeah, I had a couple of fairy macabs here before, but I don't anymore. Okay, but game one. On the go. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
okay, we do not have green moon. My mistake. Apologies. Um, but we do have my mistake again. That's the sound of all this shit. Okay. So I'm gonna play Hooray. Let's play first. Yeah, lucky hand. Yeah, I'll keep. Two drop. Something like curve. If I draw lands. Hmm. On the play. I would probably keep this on the draw as well. Not happily. With a good start for a league. Carbon Goblin Lucky Go. Unless they kill me. Come on. I do feel like this is not this list is not doing anything unfair. Which I like doing. So my first version had Chrome Oxus and Talias. To be able to play well Talia turn one. And be very happy against it. Against several decks, but you know, did not happen. Am I being plowed? I think I'm I feel like I'm being plowed. They just like waiting for some reason. Oh, okay. I feel like you're squatting. Could play Lieutenant and Morgan Marshall, which is two, three, four, five, six, seven damage if they have. Very good, but this, this is good. Okay, okay. Let's see what we are up against. If they don't concede. I guess no dex would concede to this. Storm didn't use that mana base. So we must. Well, let's find out. Okay, so. Lots of good stuff, whatever deck. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm at a point I can take a couple of removal spells. They have four. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, not really afraid of Supreme Verdict right now. They have a Brainstorm in hand. Maybe a Force of Negation. I would assume a couple more lands. Oh, Mox Diamonds. They have Mox Diamonds. Two Mox Diamonds, so they have one in hand as well. I wonder why they do not play it. Probably another Snapcaster. Or two. Oh, they have four plosures, okay. <sighs> so what am I afraid of here right now? Maybe it is the verdict. Maybe it's the bolts. How did they kill me? Just a couple of Jaces, Oko, Ren and Six. Such a weird deck. The mana base. Spana. Tundra Vogue, one or two Wastelands. They probably have a Wasteland in hand as well. I think they usually run two. I feel like taking the one mana disruption, so so I can kill them quickly. Oh, I should have taken a picture of the deck. Okay, no oh well.
they have a brainstorming hand. They could have cast brainstorm just to, because they can use the the squad as a shuffle effect. Man in six or Goyf would be annoying if they play that. Man in six, kill my lackey. We're gonna take five, six. Oh, going up. Get the land back. Okay, interesting. I may just go face then. Mm, are they dead? So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, well if, even if Fnatic doesn't resolve, yeah they're dead. Slinging changed the game so much as well, just like Ren and Six did to some decks. So how do I fight that though? That's a good question, I have no idea. <coughs> Trying to destroy us relieve soon. They do have a lot of ones. They have a conscious judgment and Oko to deal with Chalice, but Oko at least give me a free free. Rest in peace for Gren. If I want to, I don't particularly think I do. What don't I want? It's a better question, I think. <laughs> I think you can take Cinerator. I don't think they run many creatures that an expert cannot deal with. And a Gem Palm. Maybe Prospector doesn't do enough as well. So those are three, and I think I like everything else. I mean, Crater Maker is meh. It's basically a 2 mana 2 2, at least survives Ren. I can try the Chalices. It does stop Astrolabe. Eventually, I mean, they can play one or two before I cast it. So, Astrolabes is four, then four Brainstorms, four Plosures, a couple of Boats, four Ponders as well. So, they lose a lot of velocity. I think it's good enough. And I think I'm bringing in the Blast, even though it's extremely weird just to bring in Chalices and Blasts. But their top end and their snapcasters. It also kills Zoko, which might be important. Mm -hmm. When I saw main deck, rest in peace, just for a couple of free Ren and Sixes, maybe. And a couple of snapcasters. I don't think I need that. Nido has way too many targets. I think I like this. Okay. <coughs> I don't think Lackey is particularly great. Could see myself taking out the Lackey for Trash Master. Hmm. 
meh, this is not great. I'm going to keep, though. Because lands are good. If they don't waste... And I, I have lots of basics, though. If I get a Vio turn 1, that would be great. Oh, my... He's ran and sixing me. That would be sad. Okay, ponder. Interested in playing the land before playing the ponder. Maybe they don't want to shuffle after that. Um, then again, they can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Blobbery getting red. And I have two mesas, so I'm gonna play the mesa. I don't mind getting more lens. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need a basic. Well, I do not need a basic. I do not need white. So I'm just going to go double white for Grenzo. Then this is going to get black. And then I'm going to play Cavern, cost 4 mana. Or maybe even 5 mana Grenzo afterwards. So yeah. I don't mind if these get counter very much, but I want my ringleader to resolve afterwards, so I'm gonna save the cavern. Now is the mandatory opponent read Grenzo? Uh, Ten seconds, fifteen seconds, whatever, because no one knows what Grenzo does, and I have both of them. Jesus, okay, 30 seconds. <laughs> or a whole minute. I have zero hopes of this Grenzo connecting. Yep. I could pay 3 mana for the other Grenzo though next turn and just cast it if. I don't draw anything else to do. I'm gonna play Jace. I think. Yep. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play the Grinzo. Wasting them is not a winning strategy. Rather get my basics. Mm. Or maybe, yeah, I'll get I'll get a basic and I'll play War Chief now that I got it. I do not think it's gonna survive. I think it's gonna resolve, but I think it's gonna. Bite to dust. There, which it's fine. To have a ringleader coming afterwards. Mm. There, they plusing Jace makes nah. Plusing Jace is the right call, even if they have an answer to War Chief. It's because of my, ne my next turn. There you go. So War Chief's dying. They haven't got anything. Well, there we go. Oh no, okay. Ponder. Anything to f threaten me so far, which is really good. So I'm just playing my lens and developing the board. Having the, the basic lens has been very good. And I do like that this ringleader is uncomfortable right now. Even though I'm gonna lose the land. Mm. 
Mm, got a matron. Okay. I'm gonna continue pressuring Chase. Attacking them doesn't seem like a winning strategy right now. Oh man, so nice. It's warm whiskey. Maybe having the fanatic is better than the lucky. Just to do the last point of damage to those pesky things. Okay, now they can waste lock me, which is very annoying. I have four cards, they're probably gonna fetch red, I think. I have a boat now. It's like I know everything that you're gonna do. I don't see myself winning this game, to be honest, right now. Even if I, maybe if I get another haste, goblin. Mm. So maybe I can kill Jace. Or Chalice, Chalice would be very good as well. Hmm, I could. Yeah, super extend the board. I think I'm attacking Jace first. See what happens. And then go where Marshall Lucky Lucky. Hope they don't have Veredict. There's the boat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. I thought that they had an Hydro Blast, but I thought they were gonna save that for something better than killing a 2 2. Should I stick to my plan? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so now I'm in trouble. They verdict they can even ping Mogul Marshall token afterwards. Mm. Play the land. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I have actually no idea what to do in my turn after this. Or what they are gonna end up doing now. Do not shuffle. Okay, I'm screwed. They have way too many cards now. Okay. Okay. Maybe they didn't shuffle just to take the Astrolabs out of the deck to get some velocity. <laughs> mm. 
they seem to be having a hard time for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am paying this. While it is very much, ooh, this is quite nice. Uh, I'm not gonna play it before combat though, because they can plow, uh, snap, snap, plow it, and then block something. Then again, zero value. I rather de deal with Pashalikmon's next turn than rather than this turn, and I'm gonna. Go all creatures into Jace. I don't care about him. Don't I? I don't know, going all creatures into Jace seems a bit of a stretch. Even if they kill both of my creatures, I don't kill Jace, I get a trigger. But I put Matron down and search for Squad, play squad. I think it's like a yeah. Yeah, so like you you take Jace, you take Jace. So, Snapcaster. No, I just bought. Okay. So, Jace is gonna die. It's good for me. So, now I play Pashalik Mons because if they have. Supreme Verdict, or if they want to kill my other creatures. Let's just hope this is not Hydroblasted. By the way, turn 6, I haven't missed a land drop. I'm very happy about it. 24 lands is great. Oh, Plosures as well. Jesus Christ, they are on fire. Three plosures in a boat so far and a hydroblast. <sighs> they know I'm out of my matron. At least keep track that. Usually forget. And it's quite important. Got waste, okay. Probably gonna get rid of my plateau. Right. Oh, yeah. Not their ponder, what's happening here? No. Oko. Is it a good time? They wouldn't tap like that, would they? Hmm. Yeah, Oko okay, time. They can get their Astrolab into a free free, which is very annoying. So, land would be good, an expert would be good. So yeah, go my turn 7 without missing a land drop, that would be great. Land I can kill the Ren and 6 if they don't have another removal spell. Oh, nope, got third part black here, which is terrible in a matchup. Uh, so I cannot attack anything. 
Yeah, I think this draw just lost me the game right now. Had any land or expert would be great. Can still go for expert, I guess. Guess that at least gives me something for sure to do next turn instead of just casting Grinzo here. Yeah, I like it. I think this is gonna resolve. I feel like I need to get expert, kill that Ren, or the Astrolab, and then Ren. They can make Mox Diamond to another free, free, free freeze. That, that, that card's so stupid. <laughs> hmm. That Pyroblast would be really good here as well. Oh god, it's cold now. Whew. Storm, got a fetch land. Wasteland's still in there. So, so their, their top cards must be really bad. Maybe their hand as well. But I imagine just top cards. Because brainstorms is stupid. Okay, for another removal spell or brainstorm. Okay, I got a brainstorm. Okay, so now I got a window to kill something. Power blast. So if I kill one of the Creatures doesn't really do anything. Oko is just annoying right now. Hmm. So here when creatures attack for free. It's terrible. I think I tried to kill Ren. Hmm. I can't have them wasteland me to death. I think by now they might have Force of Will, though. So if they have another removal... Okay, they don't. Because otherwise I would have to spend f f two goblins on killing that. Ren. Now I can spend two goblins for them not to get another card, which I think I'm gonna do. I think Lackey 
plus token is better. It's worse than one of the four. An instant of sorcery or sorcery in their hand. I see now how gem palm could be good, so I'm probably gonna bring it in next game as well. Haven't played against Oko like I played once before. Oh, now they have a removal spell. Jesus Christ! Why didn't they use it before? Maybe to tempt me to attack. Well, I I would attack either way. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Okay. Well. <laughs> hmm. Why does it stop being an artifact? This is very silly. Makes Trash Master much worse. Probably taking out the crater makers, I think. They're better than the play though, they can have a 2 2 body against planeswalkers. But Clayton Maker does not do anything though. Force of negation, okay, cool, bro. Now it's me against three, three and a, two and a half cards in Oko. And they want to try to kill me fast now. I'm gonna draw a non creature. Okay. Um, this is actually quite good. I can even leave mana open now. I'm gonna cast this 5 5. Power three or less. Okay, I think this is correct. Or I can cast it for two. I can cast it for free and leave one activation open. I think I like that more. So red back. You. And now they have to read Grenzo Danger Warden. <coughs> okay. Probably reading less now. Mm. Do I activate it now? Try to get this and try to pressure that. Eh, let's do it. No. Okay. That wasteland is safe in their graveyard, which is very good for me. Okay. I'll try again next turn. Bye, Morgor Marshall. They're going to attack me for nine. Oh, if we're free, they can actually swap this with that as well. I think I'm taking this. Because if I flip another expert, it actually kills one of his creatures. So I'm good with that. That's terrible. But I'm gonna cast you either way. Uh, 
they have a pact, a force of negation. I'm just wondering what. Okay. And I'm just going to cast you for two. Oh. Fred, come on, quick, quick, quick. Done. And I'm going to pass this time. Jesus Christ, that mana base. Okay, so they do play the second wasteland as I imagined. Uh, cool. Not gonna bounce it. They have a removal, they have a removal. They could use Zoko on it, but I guess they want to attack me with free freeze. Cool. Oh. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay, one of them. The last card. Oh no, no, they brainstormed and fetched. They brainstormed. So maybe it is force of negation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, yeah. Why did they choose the damage like this? That was very silly. Okay. So if I got Sling Gang, okay, I did not get a Sling Gang Lieutenant. Had I gotten a Sling Gang Lieutenant. They, they, it would be lethal less turn if I chose not to attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yoko is very good. It's like playing another game. Do you think my sideboard is right? Chalices are quite good, right? Don't think fanatics, right? I think chain wheeler might be correct though. Nice free free. <laughs> I'm gonna take out a lackey. But no, I'm not play. They have a lot of one-man answers. And one of my cards do stuff. 
So I think Trash Master is right to kill those artifacts before Oko become a something. And Chain Wheeler to block them. Or attacking stuff and do damage to stuff as well. Yeah, I have no idea how Fnatic got me game one. Uh, lucky. Six. Ah, uh, six one drops though. It's very risky. Got thirteen twos, quite good. Mm. Can play Chalice on zero as well to stop their moxes, which I may consider. I'm gonna go like this. Oh, okay. Definitely keeping this. Fire on turn two, Reb. Jesus. So there are the artifacts already, Jesus. It's like they're playing Paradoxal Outcome. Gonna fire it. Okay. Okay, they do have a land. Mm hmm. Do not think there's a point on War Chief in here. Maybe that, that was wrong, but oh well. No, oh, they really want mana, so maybe that was right. Gonna keep my fetch and cracked. Yeah. Well, now I can look for a mountain. And I think I'm gonna cycle this gem palm now as well. Actually, need to find something to do. Like turn five. And nothing. I do have a good shot of finding something. Or I can just attack. I can just attack Jace. I can cycle next turn as well. Let's see what I get. Like I have so much mana.
Okay, that makes decisions easier. No save this to kill a token or a snapcaster. If they transform any of these artifacts into a free free with Oko. Okay. So now I think I'm cycling. Two turns to get something, come on. Okay. No, I have almost no four drops. I could do the trick right now, but uh, I'm gonna fetch now. Even though it dilutes a little bit of the deck. It's quite good. Uh, I'm just playing a pile driver. Oh, I can also destroy one of their lands, which is quite good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. If they don't force me now, that was silly. Trim the resources. Cool. Oh, no, my blessed, yes. Supposed to be no. So much mana. Free, free. Okay, I have to make it twice. Uh, would be good to have vial, uh, but well, I can just get another matron. Oh, I should. Yeah, that was a mistake. Should have activated Grenzo again in response to matron trigger. So they're supposed to be dead now, but okay. Okay. 
Do do do. Why did I get a war chief? Jesus Christ. At least they're still dead, okay. <laughs> it was supposed to be a chieftain. Playing terribly. But that's it, match one. Sweet. Deck's working out. <clears throat> okay. Two. Play. Ah. Okay. Cavern double like in the play. It's good. Hopefully it goes like game one, less round. <coughs> I killed them turn three. Lacking to War Chief and Squad turn two. Mogul Marshall. Fanatic getting slinging down with Lacky turn three. They mulligan to six now. Hmm. Cool. Thank you. So yeah, they, they decided to bully into four then. And they lost connection to the game. Conceded, okay. So force and brainstorm. Won the match. Okay. Bit anticlimactic, but okay. I'll take that. They want to make someone just come see the match. They didn't even know what they were playing. No, not someone with with trophies. Don't know if I should put anything here to fight that four color type of deck a bit more. I feel like if they play black as well, that's gonna make it much harder because of Plague Engineer. I could see my board like game two with five one ones. Did like Chalice quite a bit, so that was good. Did like Reb. Game 3 showed how much dependent they are on the cantrips because they hit deck has so much nothing. Okay, so on to draw over here. They rolled a 6, well done. And nothing is happening. Hmm. Oh my god, days on the draw. I 
do have 24 lands though. This is how you lose games or win. If I draw one land, I'm good to go. We're greedy. Yeah, it's great. Damn it. This still means it might be miracles, I think. Um, do want to keep my land in the deck, so I'm just going to cast this. Okay. So this is not resolving, or they just brainstorming response. Oh, I'm sad now. Got a land, even though it's the worst land I could have drawn. And they got to use their pierce. Which is not good for us. So drawing more vials or lands are good now. I am doing basics now. And it's gonna get closures right now. Right now. There you go. Hmm. No. Okay, they have their planes in their hand. <sighs> It's <clears throat> a good draw. No. Uh, I'm just going to play this. I was thinking of just attacking if they have a fairy or a click. I forgot the name of the fairy. Um, I could kill it with the expert, but I think it's much more likely that they just have plosures. So yeah. And it's good to have the war chief on board. The Caracas is annoying. Okay, good thing I have the Crater Maker. If this survives at least this turn, I think we're good. Okay. So they got a better skull. Um, I think I expert. I don't think they have another Plosius. They they would have used it. It's not the end of the world. I was thinking about attacking and see if they, they would blow me. But they they would have to oh they do have Plosius, Jesus Christ. So I should have attacked. So they they play badly. So okay, I won't take their play into my consideration when I'm playing. I'll take that into account. And another land, another war chief is good as well. Hmm. Now if they do GT equip, it gets a little complicated. Hmm. Okay. 
GT. Sure. I feel like I need resources. And I'll get some creatures on board, try to kill the germ. Oh man, that play was bad. If I just attack. I feel like killing the token is not a huge priority. That GTA is gonna kill or chief, which is fine. If they don't waste me, it's all right. And I can just oh hell. Okay. It's gonna play power driver. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I play the. Uh, if they kill War Chief in response, I'd be very sad. Play you. So this can kill GT. Then I play Power Driver. Can attack for a whole bunch, I don't think I should. Yeah, I feel like killing it in my turn so I can block it as well with Creator Maker. If they have another Plow or Snap, um, I just I may block, I may not block. We'll see. What he's doing, don't know if I agree with it. But yeah. I don't don't really I I have no idea why he did that. So snap blow, Jesus. Stop playing storm, okay. Drawing on other land would be great. Oh, he found another brainstorm. Not deplosious, okay. No, just fetch end of turn for no reason. Hmm, Jason or set. Because okay. if he plays another land, I can play the Fanatic and the Expert, which is really good. No, they're not a creature, no. So my grandsons do nothing because of Caracas, <laughs> which is very annoying. Uh, Do think I need to expert, so I can just pass the turn. Q 
Can even take four more damage, I really don't mind. I think I saved myself some damage now, I'm getting a bit low. I mean, attempt to. I don't mind he can get in play next turn, it's fine. He's gonna do it now. Play Jace. True name, okay. So I may be able to destroy Butter's Cool. They have another equipment? No, they don't. So come on, create a maker. Create a maker. Oh my god, two wastelands. So they are gonna swing for seven. Maybe I should have wasted on Cast Grenzo, it gave me at least one more out. Mm. Like this is not gonna do anything. And if he's using five mana to equip. Do him dead next turn. Unless I draw slinging, then I'm dead in two turns. Because if I draw a slinging, I don't get rid of Jesus, the third whistling. Okay. <sighs> that was disappointing. Alright. So Trash Master is nice. Sneedles and Blasts are alright. Mm. It'd be nice to have an answer to Back to Basics if they run it. And this destroys an artifact as well. So I got five. Pass, Grip, Chain Wiggler, meh. Okay. I don't like how unreliable these guys are against Caracas. Just gonna take them out. Bashalik Mons is still a combo, so it's fine by me. Don't have many one drops, so that's free. Don't really like squad in the matchup. I mean, I can take equipment, so me. And I think I take out a lackey. Just because it's quite low impact. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Oh man. If I got kill that stone forge there. Probably would have won. Yeah, that's my first. Okay, this is not great, but I have my basics and all. Okay. 
Like, if this game goes long, this is okay. Just need to find a matron or bring leader. <laughs> Not you. white I'm gonna prospect her now I'm gonna hold expert not make the same mistakes uh, and I can just need the G day so it doesn't do anything. I think he has butter school in hand though. Still. Jesus, okay. Got <laughs> all my experts. So a gem bomb would have been good. Instead of what any one of these. I don't want to spend two experts in killing a butter skull token. Not now, at least. Opponent plays planeswalkers as well. Clear glass is good to have. Just want one more creature to put in board, like a matron, a Bashlik Mons, a Mogor Marshall, Pile Driver, just to make sure that this expert kills Mystic.
So I can name Butter School as well. No. I think I can take one damage one more time. I'd rather do it now. Gonna try to force this. I'm gonna let it. Okay. Last time. I did something. It's my Yeah, just streamed one lucky though. Okay. If this is a blue elemental blast, I'm screwed. Oh, I can sacrifice the lackey actually. But I imagine they have something. Okay, this is quite good for me then. Guess neither of us wants a clock then. I'm not going to use this expert to queue up one two that he's discarding. Wow, he's at 30 life. Really thought by now it had gotten something. Okay, they got a true name. I'm screwed. So now I need freeze and force. And I can go to seven. Plateau. Doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, and it has a disenchant. I can tell you my priest, okay. Get 
by this one. Number is much screwed. Die next turn. Uh, so now it's the matron turn. No, Jesus Christ. So this is terrible. <laughs> Got four, uh, five goblins. The whole game. Turn twelve. It's amazing. Each take a leak. Try to at least four wonders thing. Losing stone blade is depressing. Twelve, nineteen cards deep, plus fetches, my days. Okay, on the play. Yeah, let's try this. Third covered in lucky hand. See how this goes. From his avatar, reanimator. Okay, this is gonna get bolted or something. Could have gone a two drop or one drop, that would have been nice. But it's just waiting. Okay. So it can be combo. So I'm pretty tempted to matron for power driver. The next time I'm pretty I can attack both his life total and squad them.
So next turn, attack for five, six, seven. So they go to ten. I can matron four, sling. They take three, four, five, six, seven. It's not lethal yet. That matron for anything though. No, nah, I'm just gonna keep the. Yeah, I'm gonna just cast ring lead, get ring leader on the floor. On the board, in the board. Are you gonna concede in response to this? Yeah. Mm. So it might be storm or just show and tell. Or miracles. <sighs> I don't know if miracles are playing preordain still. No idea what to do then. Um, I think I said for storm. Oh god. But where do their fetches? Their second fetch land. Vista, yeah, it's definitely not storm then. But it could be show and tell. I'm more inclined to think it's miracles though. Go for miracles. I don't want chain wheeler as well. Mm -hmm. But I want everything else. Ah, got a crater maker out for a chain wheeler. So if it's not miracles, oh well. If it's not miracles, it's not miracles. Then we go to game three. I would keep this against miracles. I would keep this against some other stuff as well. I have to play Vile, right? But I got to turn free. Okay, it's not miracles. Food chain. 
or a Lurin. Okay, I'm quite happy I played a Vile. Yeah, I just I have to change the sideboard. It's kind of fine. One top, one bottom. It's land. So I can kill that and attack. Maybe they have another one. But still, I still think I do it. Still swinging for a bit next turn. Okay. If it's a Lurin, I'm in trouble if they cast a Lurin. Show and tell. Oh shit, and I tapped my Caracas. Oh, well. Oh, one more. There we go. Ah, uh, why are you no more Gore Marshal? Okay. Caracas up could actually win me the game. No? Yeah, I bounce this. He only hits me for 15. I sack some stuff. Had I known. Okay, so we have Omniscience, so I can get this for Omniscience. Get this for Grizzlebrand. Great, great, a maker for Thingy. Can get you for faster mana. Can exile Grizzlebrand. So you're not great. You're not great. One of you can come out. Let's put everything in. <coughs> By bring leaders. Big Grenzo is not great. Not you as well, to be honest. I don't want to trash master. Okay, think this could work.
Okay, let's try. Hmm. Caracas, my clock's not super fast. <clears throat> I think you can do better than this. Yeah, let's keep this. I'll draw lands eventually. Okay. They kept seven. Lovely. Ah, did my turn. Okay, it's decent. I'm saving that for sure. Oh, a land would be nice then. Because otherwise I cannot squad. Or War Chief. Yeah, I'm not squatting, unfortunately. Sure. So if they shouldn't out, try to counter, they counter the Show and tell. They concert the random little vice, but Omni Science. I put Sling Gang with the trigger on the stack, destroy Omni Science, they lose Omni Science. That's what I want to happen. Okay, so I cannot counter anything now. So the control can be countered this turn. That is very annoying. Hmm. Oh well. Does that happen? Put a nominal science. Put a nominal science, please. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. <clears throat> 
think I'm gonna let them resolve to see what they take. Because I think they're gonna try to kill me instant speed. Oh shoot. Yeah, that was bad by me. Oh well. Okay, they should not have cast that form on their inside. Ah, that was my mistake. They are almost dead though. Oh, I cannot attack with Sling Gang, which is very annoying. So I attack with Power driver token tokens five six seven five six six seven eight nine ten attack with everything it's seven seven eight nine seven just seven yeah I think that's better. Uh, nine, I mean, ten, ten. Uh. If I lose Ling Gang now, he cannot squad. I can, I can attack squad next turn as well. It is more damage now. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with all. No trade. So you can take the other three show and tells. He has one Eureka. Take Omniscience. Maybe has Eureka in hand already. Yeah, I have to go for show and tells. Nice. What's their hand? B. No idea. Well, show and tells. Has Eureka. I'm screwed. Why didn't I respond to Cunning Wish? That was very, very silly. Woo! Okay. <sighs> At least that. Okay, wear tear. Wear tear. I love wear tear. Fuck me, wear tear is the best reason to split white. Forget rest in peace. I haven't used rest in peace once. 
<laughs> oh man. Get the list. Hmm. Maybe I dream a path for another blast. I do like blast a lot as well. No. Hi. <sighs> My neck's looking alright. Like a couple of chalices. Why do I like chalice so much? It's just storm. New Emery deck people are playing with. Also, to come in legacy. Mm. Maybe it could be trap. I like mind break trap as well, quite a lot. Okay. Round five. We go. <sighs> I think I like my break deck more. Um, it's worse against burn for sure, but it does hit reanimator. It hits storm. It does hit so and out to some extent. Like it would have hit this one. Ziggy Stardust was the which opponent was Ziggy Stardust? I forgot. Well, either way, I'm going to keep this. Pink was the one that conceded. Oh well. I don't think my play would change it away. Oh no, it's the four caller. Yeah, four caller. With Mox, Diamond, and all. Ponder, you got the, the not a ponder, okay. no astral lab, which means no red and six next turn. He read Grenzo last time. I think I just attract Grenzo and I matron for ringleader if it doesn't show anything and if they don't kill it and it doesn't show anything. I don't remember if they had a basic. Oh, they know the top, no? Yeah, this is silly. Spellbeast. No, they shuffled. Okay. 
I'm not casting this spell pierce, and I took a spell pierce from their deck. It's kind of terrible for me. Be nice if I like brainstorm now. Come on, Mr. Stardust. I'm not gonna just rest in peace once in this league, it's very sad. I completely forgot how he sideported against that guy. They, nah, I think I cast Ring Leader today, because after the Brainstorm, they are more likely to have found a removal now. Before Brainstorm, if they just, I may have considered, oh, no lands, okay. Oh, lands, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to cast a Ring Leader. I can wait a turn now, actually. Play Vile, maybe even War Chief post combat. Oh, I, I I decided against it, and then I pressed one. Oh well. Because they know the top two cards of their deck. So now they don't need to shuffle even. Yeah, that was very silly. Should have played the ringleader. It's nice of them to take out their forces from their hand. I don't know if they have another one. Because I don't have caverns and they know I have a ringleader. So I'm scared of playing it. I'm just going to play it when I have to. So hopefully I draw something else to do with my mana. Okay, I think they're gonna play a random six now because they cracked a lot of fetches. And that usually means they 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 well gonna have lens. Okay, maybe not. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, they did change their deck a lot. Okay. <laughs> Not expecting that. God. <sighs> Do I need a crater maker? Do anything. I deal seven damage. Ah, <sighs> fuck me. They don't kill me though. So I can attack for free. 
cost months if they and waste them they're volcanic if they they got eight if they Morocco and I sacrifice my creatures they go to five so three four five six permanents and I cannot cast anything anymore so that's bad I think I tried to find a crater maker. So they go to eight. Next turn they go to five, five. I don't even have lethal next turn if I waste and don't find a mana. So I have to attack a war chief as well. It's unfortunate. Oh well. <laughs> okay, that tells me something about their deck at least. So I'm in the sneak show. Oh, maybe it was the Oreca dude, no? I shouldn't have used waste because I'm gonna lose two. Well, to double fatty either way with the wasteland. I had one, two, three, four, five, six. I could keep a land and have one shot of winning. So using the wasteland is bad. So if I draw a uh, power driver or Morgor Marshall or a crater maker, okay. So I didn't. So it didn't matter. But I should not have fired a wasteland. Oh, okay. I could have played a battle. I don't think it mattered at all. Okay, let's beat these bastards. You guys can come in, you can come in, you can come in, and you can come in. So what was it? You guys come out, come out. You're not particularly good. Oh, I should have won this. Great, and you as well. Uh, what did I have? I think it was one ringleader.
go back to writing the names we playing against. This isn't happening again. Oh, I could have won game one, Jesus Christ. Too slow now. Got the two of my three four drops in my hand. Oh, got Caracas, got Path, got Chalice. I can play the Chalice on zero maybe. So I keep the Path four Grizzle Brand. Do I need to keep the path though? Because I have Caracas, I don't think so. So I can cast Chalice for one. Okay. Have to fetch anything in particular. I have white, black over here, but I have black over there. Oh, I got a plateau. <laughs> hmm. Goddamn, show when I proponents. Oh my days, no. Okay. Well, in this game, I'm happier that this is Charles and not a... Oh my. Oh my. Sneak attack. Okay. Please don't have anything. Okay. Okay, they have two more turns. Maybe, maybe it works. They have another red, so that's terrible for me. They have a Grizzle Brand. Okay. So I see the light. I see the light. Come on. 
no petal. No petal. That's annoying. That's very annoying. So if they have him rock or I bounce this, I win. They just have this. Well, I'm definitely, I have to bounce this. If they name Caracas and they plan on blocking, I need another land and then I win. Because they sure have Grizzlebrand as well. They sure have um, Emrakul as well. So I need a land or war chief or a crater maker or a matron. Oh man, I'm not gonna get any of those. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna get a one drop. I know it. One time. Wee. <laughs> I should have won game one. Jesus Christ. Now it's going to be terrible game three. Why did I pass priority? That was stupid. Whew. So scared. Yeah, I guess we go with the same. Oh, this game was tense. The draw. This will not do it, will it? They don't like mulliganing. Yeah, I guess I have to try this. I bought some um, ringleader probably. Mm. 
Oh my. Oh my. What was this noise? I think someone followed or something. I just don't know how to see that. It's my internet. But if it did, thank you. Oh well. Uh, it's got a wasteland somewhere. Would be nice. So do I respect land, petal? So land, petal, sneak attack, fatty in their last five cards. I don't think I can. I think I need to pressure. <sighs> okay. Force, force. Okay, so those were not the four cards they had. And now I have zero things to do. They have the sneak attack. Ah, I was thinking I really don't want to draw a wasteland because I don't know what to do now. <clears throat> So if the last card is a Grizzle Brand, it's much better if I waste. Uh, I think it's better if I waste either way, no? Yeah. And that was a fetch, they could have gone for red. Okay. Okay, so that's probably the best draw in my deck. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Can we steal this game free? Oh god. Oh, yay. So, 15. Um, if I get slinging, next turn is 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, yeah, it's definitely the best case. Let's draw a land. Oh, definitely slinging. I can I can puff that. So he's dead in three turns for sure. Okay. I don't think he can be dead in two. Get Warchief down. Puff Lackey Matron into Power Driver. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> they can spy gloss that, but I 
guess they would rather Spyglass Caracas. So I think I puff a token here. Puff a token, drop War Chief, grab Matron. And if I draw a land, it's lethal. Right? So I puff a token, I get free lands. No, I'm I'm completely crazy. Oh I can I can put Pashalik I can play and put Pashalik monks in play. So that's one two. I think I puff a token. I could get white. God damn it. Yeah, don't, don't, should probably not get white. Should have gotten white. Um, I can squad lots of cards from their deck. So, Matron for Parshalik Mons, they get 3, they go to 12. Parshalik Mons and Sling do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Not good enough. Drop. I think I'm dropping you. Matron from Lucky and getting you a squad. So they go to 12, then next turn I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, yep, 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 I like that. And I'll get rid of as many red sources that I can find. Because they got force and blue card. Okay. Two volcanics and a petal. And a mountain. So they have two petals. And Petro doesn't win them the game. Oh, did I missed a red source? I I was a bit over too fast. <gasps> I took a tropical. Oh, they, oh god! But there wasn't a there wasn't a volcanic, right? Oh my days! Who blue card? Okay. Well, they can find a petrol now. But it doesn't win the game. Woo! <laughs> cool. Get to be two ape decks to get freaking 4-1. Alright. I think the list works. It's kind of, yeah, it's obviously good to have two Karakas against that. But yeah. Um, who was there? So, okay, so it's, I think it was PG 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, thank you for the follow. Just realize how this works. I, it's the first, yeah, well. Playing with Rest in Peace Goblins, because Rest in Peace is like, I think, yeah. Basically, 
I think Rest in Peace is one of the best cards right now, uh, because Canadian is one of the best decks. And this deal with Ren and Six, Tarmogoyf, uh, Arcanist, and then also it's good against Storm, it's good against Reanimator, it's good against Loam, it's good against Relicary, it's good against... Ah, you, you got it. So yeah, I want to play white, and we're playing black because black is awesome, since, you know, Modern Horizons. And then you just adjust a bit the mana base. It's playing white already. I brought the Caracas back main deck. Playing quite similar to what Eli is playing, but the mana base is very different. And I play my Grenzo because I love it. And the other card I'm trying is the Puff. Because one of the toughest matchups as well is uh, Dark Depths, whatever version. So this just answers uh, Martellage quite cleanly, and also against Canadian, because it kills everything. So I not completely uh, path over swords. Yes, it's just because Canadian doesn't have any basics, and I don't want to give Dark Depths twenty life. And those are. Basically, and against show and tell as well, if they get Grizzlebrand or Reanimator, I'd rather give them a land rather than seven lives that they have uh, Grizzlebrand. And that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much all the matchups that I really like. Path, like I may bring it in against some other creature matchups, like elves or whatnot. But yeah, I think Path is better than Swords. Uh, still have one Kinesis to try to deal with. Some faster creature combo decks. Don't know if I need it or not. And a ruler. This is fun. Like, Puff and Caracas are good. I've tried Dahlias as well. Uh, Wear Tear. Wear Tear is fantastic. It won me a game against Show and Tell right now. Just before this opponent in round 4, I was playing against Show and Tell. And my opponent cast. Autumn's Veil, uh, Summer Veil, the new Veil, and then Show and Tell. So, and I had both Wear and Tear and Red and Mental Malast in my hand. And they put Omni Science in play. I put Slinging Lieutenant, and with the trigger on the stack, I cast Red and Mental Blast and the Omni Science. They cast Firemonster Foresight, and then I wear the Omni Science and they proceed to lose the game after that. So that was really good. Yeah, it's nice to have like one out to uh, a moat or to uh, that annoying blue enchantment that people play sometimes. Uh, chill or one that combos with rip and you can never do damage to them, I forgot the name. Uh, yeah, I, lo I love doing the plays. The second time I managed to do it in my life, so it makes me very happy. <laughs> uh, and yeah, where there is, uh, there is a Luren, there is a Fu Ching as well. And where is kind of okay, it's just another Shatter. But I don't think we really want a second one. Because most of the times, Piping Needle is better and faster. You don't have to hold mana up. Yeah, and yeah, that is about it. I actually do not know what to do, where to go from here with the deck. Like the other version I was playing was a Turbo Thalia version. So I played Chromox and Thalia's main deck to try and, um, well, cast Thalia turn one or get that Rest in Peace turn one. And even on the draw, deny Ren and Six any value. But it's just more. It's, I think it's worse. <laughs> the mana base is much worse. I cannot play with basic swamp if I also want the wastelands. Um, it's. It, it, yeah. I don't know if, if we need this. So I'm quite happy with this for now. I love the curve. 10, 10. Well, it's 11. There you go. 10, 11, 11. And super light, super light in the top end. So, and 24 lands. 
So we're playing with against uh, lots of tempo decks and combo decks. We actually might have a shot, even though the sideboard's slightly soft combo. I was thinking maybe trying a uh, mind break trap instead of the chalices. Do not know how much I like that because chalice it it has some splash damage against several cards from my sideboard mainly all this seven <laughs> uh, and trap comes in against the, some of the same decks that chalice comes in against so storm reanimator uh, show and tell trap is really good i i got some versions of the deck and uh reanimators nowadays they're playing turbo reanimators with petals and uh dark rituals they mask themselves and whatnot so sometimes if you have the opening hand you can even get that you can get elves players uh, sometimes I think Chalice is a bit more sturdy it's just the the kind of numbo over here I like two traps when I play it I do not know which version I was playing traps Think, yeah, over here. So when I was playing Instigator, Vajor with four Chalices main deck. And then when I want more combo hate, I'd rather go... I do have Forns as well. <laughs> but it really want to try to beat combo with this list, for instance. Then you play with Chalice with Forns and then my Brick Trap. Because opponents usually have to sideboard in permanent removal and then they usually side out some amount of this card at least storm so this is interesting and now they're playing with veil as well which trap gets by veil oh yeah the, the number is not great but yeah and this version is not great right now as well Ren and Six is very good against Chalice. Uh, Oko is really good against Chalice. Even the Overdex, they're playing in a higher curve with Arcanist, True Name Nemesis. Uh, uh. So, yeah, I do believe that Rest in Peace is really good right now. Even in Goblins, maybe especially in Goblins. Fun thing is that I'm playing with Grenzo, which I really like. It won me a game, so I'm very happy about it. And Grenzo puts the bottom card of your deck in your graveyard. And if the creature has power less than Grenzo or Rico, you get into play. And if you have a Rest in Peace in place, it also works. Which is very weird. <laughs> I don't know why, but it works. Yeah, maybe. It's just, it's just a thought. Like, I was just thinking about that against the show and tell player in round 4 but then again I think Chalice won that game because they got a Grizzle brand and drew 18 cards and couldn't play their cantrips so that was good yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah has been good but Thank you for watching. I'm gonna stream more now that I managed to actually fix this thing. Got my computer had been broken like since March, and I just post videos on YouTube. I actually just am uploading a modern league there. Well, yeah. Do you use? I got the. I use mainly the Legacy Goblin Discord, so it's there. And I'm gonna post the, the video tomorrow when I upload it. And uh, right now I'm uploading a modern league that I played before this. Uh, yeah, I need to edit some stuff here because this looks very silly. Ooh, got one more. Thank you for the follow. Uh, don't know who it was. 
Yay, good to hear. Thank you. But good night. I'm going to bed soon. It's like 2 a.m. right here. So, usually, <laughs> cool. Uh, I, I wouldn't really, really suggest that unless I'm going to a tournament. But yeah, it's good to practice. Thank you, mate. And thank you, Drug Bugless Worth. Drug Bugless Worth, apparently. I don't know. Well, see you in Bologna next month. Yeah, I do not know if I'm playing anymore today. I just like this so much. I'm gonna just drink some whiskey and maybe try to change... Oh no, not this one. Where is it? The modern one. Because I'm quite happy with my modern deck as well. But I'm quite not happy with the sideboard. I like all the cards, but I don't know if this is the correct ratio or anything for these things. Like, I like... Yeah, I just have no idea what to do with this sideboard for modern. So if anyone has any hint, I would take it. So the main deck I'm pretty sold on. Yeah, 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 this is straight combo goblins, like you can grind people still with ringleader, matrons, like mons, ling gangs, once upon a time find more ringleaders and all. And I've, the first few lists I was playing with Biodriver and War Chiefs, and I was trimming them down and now I play with zero of each. Once upon a time has been great. Like, it's really good. It takes slots of two lands and two creatures it really reduces the amount of times you flood and the amount of times you don't have anything to do if you have it turn one it's great to find a prospector or a frog tosser if you have those things you can find a matron or ringleader already middle of the game you'll find whatever the hell you want and sometimes finding cover of souls is quite important as well so yeah i'm really really digging this list I know. Once upon a time, I, I bought it was 7 euros. Card, magic card market. I should have bought a ton. Now it, it's a bit more. But everything has gone up in price. Like, Oko, it's insane. Yeah. And it's good in pretty much everything. Like, uh, every couple of modern links I play, I play with someone playing with once upon a time in their deck and sometimes I chat with them like this card is busted like, almost every deck can play it with a light green splash I'm trying I'm trying once upon a time in legacy as well but I still cannot break it where is it once upon a time so this is a list that something that's once upon a time in Discord is trying, and I adjusted some numbers, but it's my and well he got my control shell and put once upon a time into it. Um, yeah, so this is what it's trying, but I don't know. It still doesn't work properly in Legacy. I, we need to figure out some things over here. I still don't know what. I think I missed the lackeys, even with the old this discard. I don't know. I'm gonna brew some more of these eventually. But I'm I'm quite happy with the the rest in peace version, so I don't know if I want to pursue the Goblin control with Once Upon a Time so much before Bologna because I don't have too much time to test it. Maybe I'll play a couple of leagues, but... It just looks so cool, though. 
this looks so nice to play with. It had some such cool lines of turn one therapy, Mogwar Marshall, three Grenzos, Havoc Razor. I put one of these ones as well. The curve is fantastic. Could do a bit more one drops, but probably take out a land. Oh yeah, and it doesn't. Uh, it's not running basics. Uh, well, if people have pursued Grumgulling Legacy, I think they failed so far. That's why I haven't seen it. Because I've tried as well. We even like aggro version. I've tried control. I tried classic class so far, and I have not been able to to do it. So this is the one I am at. I think this is the only Grumgulliness I have right now. And this was just a trial. I tried playing with four uh, Team Street Hooligans main deck just to like really get this uh, four color or whatever control decks because they play Astrolabe and you just destroy it and get a 2 1 and it's great. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. People get mad at you and they, they, they curse you in a training practice room just because you're playing this terrible card and destroying their deck <laughs> but yeah it works against that but the deck is just bad I don't think I have any junt yeah I don't have any junt version so far I keep could see Grim Gully in five color. If you if I just four color goblins have five color, that could be funny. But I have to make the mono base work. And that's a lot of work that I do not want to do it right now. The Instruct Hooligan is not bad. It's the best two drop you can have against several decks like Death in Texas. I guess just Death in Texas. But compared to Crater Maker, it's at least a card that it's always going to give card advantage, whereas Crater Maker never gives you card advantage. But extremely more flexible. So that's why we don't play with Team Street Hooligan anymore. And because green is much worse than not having splash green. Oh, the... The Rest in Peace list is extremely... It's a classic version. It's... It's... It's a normal goblins list as I think it should be right now. The only difference is in the sideboard. Yeah, the splash I'll try one day, five color. But again, Bologna is just one month away, and it's not like I'm gonna try all these versions like really in depth. Oh, I think the diamond version had. Oh no, it didn't. Yeah, like all these versions really in depth. I really. Really think I should just try this, but I don't know where to go from here. So hopefully, some I'll post this tomorrow. Some people might give some advice as well. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, next time I see how to raid and stuff for other people watching. But thank you so much for watching and follow. I'm gonna start streaming more because I can stream now and life is great. See you next time, I'm your host, Scatman. And everything is on Discord, so get there. I don't know how to stop this. Probably here. Stop streaming. See ya.